Meridian stands at the very heart of subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator de Rosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the lower city. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with Tyranid spores and hive ships. On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no Tyranid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmospheric changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths. Commander, the Eldar seem intent on crippling Meridian's infrastructure. They have just silenced a major communications array used by Meridian's noble houses. Valuable items were also pilfered from nearby storage vaults. A powerful Eldar hover tank is leading these attacks, and the Imperial Guard has thus far been unable to stop it. If these raids continue, planetary defenses could be seriously compromised.
Eldar strike without warning. Clocks open. With me, brothers, advance. Your command. With me. Zenos. Okay, brothers. Let's go.
Sergeant Tarkas. Moving.
want us moving. Shadows, Eldar. Launch Thunderhawks for extraction.
Prelate Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. He looks forward to the recovery of his stolen goods and the repair of the damaged array. Is this liaison unaware that a Tyranid Hive fleet is descending upon this sector? We are currently reviewing the full extent of the Tyranid threat, Sergeant. We have yet to find evidence that Meridian is in any real danger. DeRosa, out. Imperium tech priests have been working to restore an ancient astronomical array deep in the jungles of Typhon. If reports are accurate, this array is capable of detailed scans of an entire subsector. This data could allow us to uncover a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet. We will have to make contact with the tech priests at their base camp on Typhon and ask for the location. Commander, Captain Angelos here. You must defend the capital world and secure Angel Forge. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the hive mind itself. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. You must also obtain a sample of the hive fleet's biotoxins. Angelos out.